In this video, let's talk about the three things that you're going to need to launch your coaching business in 2024. I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I work with female coaches to help them to get seen, get heard and get paying clients so that they can turn a passion for coaching into a profitable business. Because I truly believe that not knowing what to say and how to say it should not be the reason why you are not a full-time coach. Over the past couple of months, I've been hearing a lot of coaches coming to me and asking me, how do I position myself so that I can attract more dream clients? There's a lot of coaches who's constantly on social media and they're putting out a lot of content, social media posts, they're sharing their inspiration every single day, yet they are not seeing the result. So today we're going to talk about the three reasons why your social media posts and your blog post is not converting any pay clients. Number one reason why your content is not converting, first of all, you are a big heart center female coaches who's all about helping and making more impact. And you truly believe that coaching is something that's accessible to everyone. So when you tend to create a lot of inspiration for your audience, but yet you forgot one very important thing that is to have a call to action. And perhaps you're not even familiar with the term call to action. What does that even mean? So the idea of a call to action is so that your audience get to do something. We all been to one of those very amazing powerful motivational event and you walk out of the room you feeling pumped you feeling energized you feeling like you have whatever it takes to do something big and something major in your life but yet without that call to action it's like walking out from a movie theater watching an amazing movie and then a couple of days or weeks after you completely forgot what you have watched and that is not something that you want your audience to do. So anytime you create an inspirational post, you always want to make sure that you include a call to action. Now, most people, they would share a calendar link, which is a big ask from your audience. Not only do they have to commit the time to show up on your discovery call, but they may not be ready yet. And you don't want someone who's not committed, who's not ready to do the work to jump onto your discovery call. So what you should do instead is you can ask them to either follow you for more or jump into your newsletter, subscribe to your channel, something that is small and has a lower bar to cross so that they're willing to cross it. Reason number two, your content is not converting you to your paying client is because you have this vague message and it's wishy-washy today i'm going to try this out and tomorrow i'm going to do something else and so you're always fluctuating and today you're promoting a workshop and tomorrow you're offering your webinar believe me i've been there i've done the same thing so when something is not working it's not because it's not working it's because you haven't figured out what is not working let me say that again if you're offering a webinar and you notice that there's not a whole lot of signed up, chances are it's not the webinar itself is causing the problem. It's somewhere in your campaign that's making the issue, that's creating the problem. So you wanted to go back and reevaluate your whole process of how you're offering that webinar, the messaging, the copy, the website, the landing pages, the email that you have sent out or the type of messages that you've been posting on your social media. All this is going to cause someone to either to sign up to your webinar or not. So if you notice that there's no signed up to your webinar, chances are it's much deeper than what you believe it's not working. So we need to look at your marketing messages, your copies to make sure that it is tight, it is congruent, it's cohesive so that your audience has a clear picture of what they're signing up to. If you need help to identify your brand messages and get that so clear that there's no way that your audience is going to say no to you and creating copies that is engaging, that is entertaining to keep your audience fully engaged, then you need to come to my Visibility Marketing Bootcamp, which is going to take place January 15th to 19th. And you can find the link in the description box. I look forward to see you there in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp. 
Reason number three why your content is not converting to paying client is because you don't have a plan. I cannot tell you how many times I come across a conversation with my students and female coaches who struggle to put the content out. They have no clue of what their content planning is. And when you don't have a plan in your content creation, chances are you're just throwing spaghetti on the wall and you have no idea what you're going to offer today or what's that big picture look like. So you need to sit down and create a content planning so that you are clear how is that going to help me to the webinar I'm going to launch next week or to a masterclass I'm going to offer in the future, exactly what does that look like in relation to all the things I'm putting out into the world. So you need to have a content plan in order to create that cohesiveness inside your business that would allow you to scale and grow. So what are the three reasons why your social media posts or your content creation is not getting you the result or getting you the paying client so that you can grow and scale your coaching business? business in 2024. Reason number one is you're such a big heart center female coaches and you're just pouring your heart out in creating values for your audience, but you're not recognizing the fact that you also have a business to run. And in order for this business to be successful, you need to have strategies and plans in place so that every post that you create and every piece of content that you create is going to serve as a 24 seven sales force for you. So reason number one is you make sure that you need to have a call to action for each piece of content that you're creating, whether to get people to follow you on social or joining you and subscribing to your newsletter. All these are considered valuable call to action to have in your business. Reason number two is your brand message is totally vague. So your audience is really confused about all the things that you're offering and they have no idea of exactly what you do. If that is you, you need to come to my visibility marketing bootcamp, which we're going to cover a lot more in depth of how to have that brand message that is so cohesive, so congruent with everything that you do with your passion for coaching and how do you keep your audience keep coming back for more. All these we're going to cover in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp. It's going to take place January 15th through 19th and the link is down in the description box below. I look forward to seeing you there. The last reason why your social media content creation is not getting you any paying clients or converting any sales for you is really because you don't have a content creation plan. Having a content creation plan would allow you to have a bigger picture of exactly what is it about what I'm creating that's going to take my audience from a follower to a paying client. Without that plan, without a strategic plan, all the things that you're creating is just going out to the air and it's floating somewhere but not giving you a result that you want. If you're looking forward to growing a coaching business and become the go-to coach that everybody is talking about in 2024, I encourage you to join me in the Visibility Marketing Bootcamp that's going to take place January 15 to 19, and the link is down in the description box below. I look forward to seeing you there so we can turn your passion for coaching into a profitable business. 